Fatima Zandeng is proud of her father and his vocal opposition to Yaya Jame's 23-year rule. A year ago, Solo Zandeng led a demonstration against Jame's dictatorship. He was carted away by security forces and later killed. We had a dictator and he wouldn't let anybody express your, your, your whatever you feel without just doing anything to you. So he knew what was going to happen to him, but he did it for Gambia and Gambians. And like he has always been saying, if he was supposed to be the sacrificial lamb for Gambia to be free, he was going to do it. And that's what he did on that day. It's now up to the High Court in the Gambia to determine who killed Zolo Zandeng. The hearing has been postponed, supposedly because of errors in the paperwork. Tensions are high as the accused, among them the former head of the secret police, are taken to court. And I said it. A scuffle breaks out between the victim's relatives and those of the accused. I can't take it in my hands, but then that is my wish. I wish I could just do to him what he did to my father, really. Because it's, it's just so painful to see somebody who has murdered your father in broad daylight standing alive, you know. But then that's what we have to do as decent people. We have to be decent than them, so let justice be served. For 22 years, a huge number of crimes and human rights abuses were committed under the watch of former autocrat Yaya Jame. How to come to terms with the past is one of the key challenges of the new government. President Adama Barrow has already said that he likes the idea of a truth and reconciliation commission, but he is yet to be more precise about it. However, one thing is clear. The courts and the judicial system are already overwhelmed. The Gambia's Chief Justice has complained that the Supreme Court is short of judges and hasn't convened in almost two years, despite a long backlog of unresolved cases. In addition, the number of charges against ex-President Jame's former backers is expected to rise dramatically. The High Court, which is supposed to deal with these, many of these cases, is seriously understaffed at the moment. Um, it's um, probably at just about 25% of its full strength. Uh, and uh, we, are, we are very busy now trying to recruit judges in order to, 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 to be able to, to get the High Court fully operational. Fatima Zandeng is convinced the new Gambia will overcome these obstacles and deal with the crimes of the old regime. She wants to look to the future and start a foundation in her father's memory. The foundation has to do with all the things that he lived for, things that he wanted to see the, the Gambia uh, have, that is freedom, that is equality, that is like what he was advocating for, electoral reforms. Anything good that he died for and he lived for, we want to make sure we continue that. Freedom has been a long time coming for Gambians. They believe their country has a long road of challenges following the end of Yaya Jame's dictatorship.